Hello guys and welcome back. In this video I wanted to talk about how the data is structured in Houdini. And uh, Houdini is a huge application. It can do so many different things. For example, you can create geometry, you can shade that geometry, you can render the geometry, you can uh, create any kinds of sim dynamic sims, you can destroy it. And each of these uh, uh, topics is huge by itself so side effects from the beginning came up with uh, this context uh, idea and each of the things that we do in Houdini is done under a context so for example if we wanted to create some geometry data we will uh, we will need to use the SOPS context okay and SOPS stands for surface operators if we want to create some dynamic simulation, anything, smoke, uh, uh, RBD, or uh, any kinds of sim, we need to be in the DOPS context, and it stands for dynamic, uh, dynamic operators. And each of the things that we're going to be doing, for example, if we want some shaders, uh, shading, there is a shop. Uh, context which stands for surface operators and side effects uh, uh, designed this to so that the data in Houdini is very well organized and structures and everything we're going to be doing in this uh, workshop is going to be primarily in the geometry data in SOPS and when we go to shading we're going to be using the uh, uh, the shading context and for rendering there is a rendering context called uh, uh, ROPS which is rendering uh, uh, operators and inside these contexts there is still a, uh, a more structure uh, to it which is basically a, a folder like structure so let's say we wanted to create a house we first create a geometry node uh, which is a placeholder for our data. Then we create a box inside, we create a grid for the base of the house, and create some uh, windows. Okay, and this is the main, uh, this is the main input. Actually, let's remove this window. So we create a box for the wall and grid for the, for the base of the house. Now, let's say we wanted to uh, change this uh, box or make holes in it. We process that. We add more surface operator to it and take that box and uh, um, mix it with some a smaller box to create a boolean for example for the windows opening. So we can add uh, a boolean and that will create holes in this wall. And we can continue processing this data and combine it but it's all under the geometry node context. Let's say we go to the uh, rendering context, which is the prop. We want to render the house uh, by itself. So create a mantra node, which is the uh, default render engine in Houdini. And with this render node, we tell it only to render the house. We can create another render node. And this time we're going to <clears throat> pardon me, render the background, which is the sky with the house used as a as a mat uh, in it. And um, this is how the data is structured in Houdini. We're, gonna, uh, we're going to see this in action once we learn a bit about the application, how to navigate uh, in it. We're going to learn how all these things work together. And as we progress through the weeks, we're going to learn uh, various different nodes of uh, the SOPS context, uh, uh, shading, uh, rendering, and we're going to be, by the end of the workshop, we're going to get to a, a very good level where we have a very good understanding or a deep understanding of how SOPS works in Houdini and a lot of shading and a lot of rendering. Hope this makes sense and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.